And we are following outrage and protests today after another police killing of a black man, this time in Minnesota. The aftermath was filmed, and we want to warn you about this video. It's quite graphic. Philando Castile was shot several times. His girlfriend live streamed part of the incident on Facebook from the driver's seat while her young daughter was in the back. Now you can see Castile slumped over, his shirt soaked in blood, while an officer points a gun at the couple. Another warning, what you're about to hear is disturbing. Stay with me. We got pulled over for a busted tail light in the back. And the police just, he's, he's, he's covered. He they killed my He's licensed, he's carried to, he's licensed to carry. He was trying to get out his ID and his wallet out his um, pocket. And he let the officer know that he was Re he had a firearm and he was reaching for his wallet and the officer just shot him in his arm. We're waiting for a back. I will, sir. No worries. I will. He just shot his arm off. We got pulled yeah. over on Larpener. I told him not to reach for it. I told him to get his hand out. He had, you told him to get his ID, sir, and his driver's license. Well, the woman's live stream was viewed and shared widely on Facebook. Protests have already started. Crowds of people have been protesting outside of the governor's mansion overnight, many demanding action and justice. Ashley Roberts is from our Minneapolis station, WCCO. She joins us now. Ashley, what's the latest on the investigation? Good morning, Vlad. Police are telling us right now this is still under investigation. It has been turned over to the Minnesota Bureau of Criminal Apprehension. All police are telling us at this point in St. Anthony, the interim police chief, is that this happened around 9 o'clock last night. We're told police officers pulled over the car for a traffic stop and that shots were fired. They're telling us the victim, Philando Castile, was taken to the hospital where he later died. But the girlfriend, Lavisha Reynolds, uh, who was live streaming on Facebook after the aftermath of the shooting, she's telling us that they were pulled over for a broken taillight. She says the officer asked for Castile's license and registration. When he went to go to his wallet to get that information, he informed the officer, according to Reynolds, that he had a weapon and also a permit to carry. But according to Reynolds at that time, that is when the police officer shot her boyfriend four times. So, Ashley, what do we know about the victim, Philando Castile, and the officers involved in this shooting? And Marie, we have learned that Castile would have celebrated his 33rd birthday tomorrow. We've also learned from his family that he worked in a school cafeteria at a St. Paul magnet school. So in addition to his family and friends mourning his death, no doubt his colleagues as well as students will also be mourning as well today. Ashley, we know that crowds of people protested outside the governor's mansion last night. What's the mood like today? Well, people uh, right after that shooting, they gathered here at the intersection where it happened. The crowd started very small with about 50 people or so. Then it grew to about 200 people at the scene of the shooting at Larpenter Avenue and Fry Street. People, community members are angry. They're frustrated. They really want answers and say this needs to stop. After people left the scene of the shooting, that is when they moved to the governor's mansion and began protesting there. Have we heard anything from the governor at all? I'm sorry, Anne Marie, would you repeat that for me? Have we heard anything from the governor at all? At this point, the governor has uh, not released any statement. He was set to hold a news conference on an unrelated matter later today. But hopefully at some point we can expect to get some sort of statement from the governor because in the past he has been vocal when it comes to officer involved shootings, at least providing us with some statement, no matter how small that was the case uh, when another uh, officer involved shooting happened uh, last year, Jamar Clark. We cover that extensively as well. That local story here uh, made national headlines. All right, Ashley Roberts, thank you so much for your reporting.